Boxy Tactics Beta is in full swing, and I cannot wait to show you this combo that I've been messing with. This team composition requires two archers and a monster, as well as a couple of dragon bows. Now, there are plenty of boxies on the market with these uh, traits and abilities and equipment, and I was lucky enough to mint two NFTs that had the dragon bow, one of them being a necromancer. But if you guys didn't know, I'm a Voxy ambassador, and I work closely with the team to bring you guys sponsored content and gameplay, of course, which is what we're gonna be going over today. So, taking a look at my lineup here, I have a ranger, which is Voxy 5349, that had a dragon bow that I equipped. Now, the rest of his equipment is pretty bare bones, just a bunch of beta stuff, as well as this guy back here, which is my free Voxy, okay? You get three Voxies that you kind of start with when you install the game, and this kind of resets every time a new beta is up. And recently, I've been getting rocked and wrecked by archers so bad, the rangers so bad, that I decided that I was going to mint one of my own as well as use one that I was allocated for the free one. And if you go in here, you'll see Dragon Bow. Now, I own two of these because my Necromancer that I minted a little while back actually had a Dragon Bow that was part of it. In combination with this, I use a monster class, which is Voxy 6945. Now, I have an exceptional amount of magic that I use because I have a flower that I got from my black mage that I minted, as well as the little bit of equipment that gives me enough intelligence to use the nightshade ability, which inflicts doom twice per battle. Now, this is the strategy. Use archers with volley to do as much AOE damage as possible and proc the burn ability on as many of your opponent's voxies as possible. When you get in the right positioning, you can inflict burn to multiple enemies at one time and if they're using knights white mages or anything that really really has the ability to counteract this which is cleanse they'll use it and they'll use all their mp in time to be able to cast doom on them with the monster i got a cool battle that this worked out to demonstrate it i want to share with you now so essentially what i'm trying to do is position my voxies to where i can use volley multiple times and kind of hide my monster away because we're not going to need him till later okay and i'm kind of waiting to where the enemy messes up now this opponent has yeah, he was rather slow this battle okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna flip flop around but essentially he made a lot of positioning errors and i do this sometimes too in order to get range sometimes or to get where you can actually attack a lot of the times you'll put yourself in positions to where you're vulnerable to be AOE'd or have somebody do an ability on you that will affect multiple of your boxes. And it can be very, very detrimental as you'll see here. But I know archers have, my archers have the ability to move three. And when you attack at any range, you basically can't attack any adjacent ability, any adjacent square that you have. But if you, you can attack three or four out, okay? And the volley ability has a split on, on a center, right? So it hits whatever your target that you're aiming for and the adjacent square. So what I'm trying to do is line volley up with as many of their voxies as possible. And they were a little bit too far out of range right here to do that. So the opponent's team moved and they didn't really do anything, right? One mage got up a couple of squares and the others defended. So what I want to do is get in range. Now, I couldn't with one of my rangers, but I can with my next one. So I'm going to move as close as possible so that I can, so I can snipe volley into the middle of them. And I ended up doing damage to both of them, but not proccing burn on either of them. It's still very, very... <laughs> Uh, I guess you could say tempting to use the cleanse ability in order to heal, but now I figured that I can move my monster a little bit closer since they're going to be going for my front archer anyway. So we finally moved his mage into range and he's about to wreck me. A hundred damage to one of my archers. Thankfully the mages are squishy and I did just about, uh, well actually more damage to them 
on the last turn, but it still puts my Ranger at a very, very high amount of risk here, especially because he has another ranged combatant that he can hit me with. Now, I'm hoping that he doesn't bring them into range right here, and again, he's moving a little bit slow. I guess he's kind of weighing his options, but it does seem like he didn't really know what to do here. He ended up using cleanse with his white mage on his black mage to cure, and that's one cleanse out of the way. So in traditional tactics games, a lot of the time you can move and then attack. And if you decide not to attack because the ability that you wanted to use is not in range of your opponent or whatever, you can undo the move and kind of restart, right? Well, in Voxy Tactics, once you make a move, you're kind of done. So I asked the team to consider rethinking this because it just doesn't feel like it's very forgiving you should be able to do things more tactical instead of just make a mistake and right here his knight moved into range of i guess putting himself in a vulnerable spot because he put himself right next to his black mage and he could not attack my archer this may have just been a mistake on his part but from the way it looks he thought he could do something that he really couldn't so i also made a mistake here too i went to try to perform a volley shot with my ranger and it turns out that i couldn't why well i didn't have my dragon bow equipped so sometimes i'll mess around with different builds and i equip my dragon bows to my other classes or whatever like my monster for instance and it just turns out that i had forgot to equip it so my bad there but it just so happens that i can use it with my other ranger so i lined my arrow volley up and i only hit one of them and i still didn't proc any burn damage unfortunately now the opponent messed up again since i did more damage to the black mage he's really afraid of him dying and he's going to use another cleanse on him which is another one down that way doom procs or short to run rampant again i have two uses on my monster so the less cleanses they have to get this out of the way the much more trouble they am and i haven't even started to proc burn yet so i was pretty sure here that i was going to lose my archer the knight moved in and was going to hit now it i took over 100 damage with my black mage i thought this would have been a lot worse but i only took 21 points of damage here so i barely lived with very few hit points left but it's enough to get another volley shot off which i'm about to do and they're gonna be in a whole lot of trouble let's go with arrow volley and right into the center of them actually i'm gonna have a move a little bit because i'm a little bit too far out the way you can see that i'm checking my attack range here to see who i can hit so i move up by one hit snipe arrow volley right in between the two and i'm going to do two burn procs right here now that's devastating in a battle damage over time like that is incredible and i have another arrow volley lined up with my second ranger which ends up missing the guy behind but burn is going to kill his black mage most definitely right here and if he doesn't get another cleanse off in time it's curtains so now that he has double burn procs i decide that i'm going to move my monster in and inflict doom now he has an ultimatum to choose like on the matrix right you can choose death of one way or death of another way the burn proc actually takes the mage out right here and you can tell the white mage is like holy crap what do i do right on the one hand he can cleanse his own flame proc or move into range with the knight to cast cleanse on him to get rid of doom but you got to consider that's going to take two turns to do because they have to move close enough to one another to be able to use this and all this time my arches are still going to be pummeling them plus i have another nightshade spell that i can cast and they won't have any more cleanses left so it's pretty much game over after this but like i said it's a really really strong strategy now the flame procs as you can tell did not go off as much as they could have but you can see how devastating it can be giving them that choice to use cleanse because if the burn procs would have gone off earlier it would have even incentivized it more for them to cleanse they were just doing this to get him healed right away you know so their black mage was kind of toast from the get-go the archers are still very very strong right now rangers are very very powerful in this meta especially what weapons they have but i've seen a number of combinations that have really really hurt me and typically teams that are running like knight and white mage together that have two uh, classes that can cleanse it's not a real easy matchup so at the end of the day we won a pretty easy battle the opponent made a bunch of mistakes we made a few as well 
but that's the learning curve and that's what beta is all about right you can see right here my elo is not the greatest as well as the number of wins and losses that i get but what's important is that i'm learning a lot i'm being able to kind of employ these strategies practice a little bit learn what works learn what doesn't work learn what i'm weak against and what i'm strong against and learn a lot about the meta and you can see that i have 15 wins 13 losses but this was very very tilted towards high losses over wins before I started using this strategy. So it really all depends on what works for you and trying out different combinations. I hope this video helped you. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure guys to let me know the kind of strategies that you're using. Look forward to seeing you in the comments, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off and we'll see you next time.